Hey y'all, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Today's real talk is gonna be different, different. It's not any emails. I didn't have time to do one because I am going to be on my way to the dentist to get my tooth extracted, the little piece of tooth that's left, and also get fitted for and molded for my partials. So I actually did a video for you guys already, and it's just me chit-chatting with you ladies. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, be very mindful and kind to those. Body shaming is definitely not cool. There's something, there's some things in life that you really, really shouldn't do. And just because I'm not your size does not mean that you have to speak on it or ridicule it. And that goes to you, it's Capricorn 26. You know what I'm talking about, okay? You definitely know what I'm talking about on my recent blog, talking about, oh, wow, if you got big, yeah, bitch, and what, okay? Means I'm living good, got money, eating good. Can't say the same for you with your miserable ass life, but don't project your miserable life on anybody else. That's the main point of this topic right now. Do not project your misery on anybody else's life because you're jealous, miserable, and your life is crappy does not mean that you try to bring others down with you. Go have a seat, kick rocks with no shoes on, and you know what else you can do from there on. So you ladies say divas and debos. I hope y'all enjoy this real talk because it's me chit-chatting with you guys about life in itself. I'm going to be at the dentist or I'll definitely be home from the dentist when you're watching this, but my mouth is definitely going to be sore. So, you know, I got my little um Amazon tooth in, okay? Got my little Amazon tooth in. I told y'all I was going to get me a tooth from Amazon and it worked out really, really good. So if you're interested in that video, I'll definitely have it up soon about how I made this tooth molded with a teeth kit. Peace out. Enjoy the real talk. Ooh, when I tell you they're going to get on my last fucking nerve, they're going to get on my last nerve, okay? Like, for real. They're going to get on my last goddamn nerve, stressing me the hell out. Like, I am so sick of people. I don't even know what the hell, but I'm so sick of people. I'm, I'm just so sick of people. You ever feel like you just got to really woosa, like, just like woosa, because if you don't, you gonna just explode. You gonna go the fuck off on folks. You just gonna you gonna make everyone realize that you are not the one to play with on that certain day. I really feel like screaming. I really do, and I'm really trying not to be stressed about the shit. But I'm just very curious, like really, really curious about the whole process and what made you come to this decision in life or for these next twelve months that you feel like it's okay to raise my fucking rent by three hundred dollars. Like, where the fuck do we do that in? Especially if I've been in this goddamn house for 11 years in a row and never, when I tell you never, when I tell you never have been late on my rent, never have been late on my rent. And they got the nerve to raise my goddamn rent by $300. Well, it's either $253 or $300. Okay, you choose the option. Or if you want to do it month to month, then girl. Let me tell y'all. Y'all know I have been like, I have been talking about having like a bad week. Last week was a bad week. Um, and this week was okay. It started off great until I opened my email and seen that bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, I, I was just hoping for the best this week. Within myself, I, I really was feeling like, okay, April, stop thinking negative. Stop feeling like, you know, paranoid about shit. Stop thinking negative in, in general. If you just stop thinking negative, then there ain't nothing else to say. Like, that's the whole point of me talking to myself is like, stop thinking negative because this is going to be a better week. When I tell y'all last night, I opened up the email and, you know, I was waiting because I knew it was going to be this month when I had to renew my lease. And so... They did say in the email that my lease expires on the 5th of January, 2025, right? So, okay, y'all do go ahead and, and put it out there some time in advance. I guess that's so that you can give the person 60 days if they say, fuck all of this, I'm vacating the premises. That's cool and all. You know, I get that, right? Now, last year, they raised my rent by $117, okay? $117. The year before that, I think it was like $94. And then, like, another year before that, it was like 50 something dollars, okay? Y'all couldn't just raise it, like, to $150. Y'all took it to bond yourselves to, like, do the ultimate. Like, why would y'all do that to somebody that's been here for 11 years? And then you're going to congratulate me on being a tenure te a year ago. Like, fuck out of here. What? Of course we're going to pay it. Of course we are. But I'm just saying, like, God damn. And, I mean, I'm going to just say this. I mean, I... Oh, I really don't want to say it, but it is... I am being honest. Like, I know that, 
you shouldn't do things like that to people because like, why would you do that? Why would you raise my rent by by 300, by $253 if you choose a 12 month lease or $300 if you choose 11th month lease or I don't know, some other shit. Okay. Uh, I don't know about the month to month because I didn't even think about that month to month shit. I just was looking at the months. So why would you, why would you raise it so high? Okay. Like I'm just trying to figure that out. Like where, where did they come up with that math? You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, I, I'm just curious, you know, curiosity. When I opened that shit, I was like, these son of a bitches, okay? That's what the fuck I said, these son of a bitches, okay? Like, y'all got some fucking nerve, you know what I'm saying? And then I started thinking to myself, right? Are they trying to recoup their money back for the maintenance that they had to do up in here? I'm sorry if you have to put a whole new countertop where the kitchen sink was. How many times have I told y'all it kept leaking back there? But y'all keep saying there's some guy who's just a handyman. He ain't no real plumber like that. He ain't got no plumber's license. He just a handyman. So what do we know about fucking putting screws and bolts and shit on and connections and making shit? Is con- you know what I'm saying? For real. I'm, I'm just being dead serious. So, you know, I, and, I, and the thing about me is I don't let shit go for long. You know what I mean? Meaning if I see that shit is leaking today, I'm calling you today. I'm not waiting two weeks down the road because why would you want your shit to be leaking so i make sure that the problem is fixed real quick so that way it don't persist and get worse you know what i'm saying because like really who wants to be washing dishes one day and the whole fucking sink fall like i don't know if that's really even possible but i'm just putting it out there you know what i'm saying so listen i didn't really think they needed a whole new countertop they sent some of this company up in here of course the company is gonna want to try to get all the money they can so they came up in here and made it seem like it needed a whole new counter they took other parts of the other side of the counter that wasn't even part of that shit and could have fucking stayed new countertop too they took the counters they fixed them up they were the same counters and then put whole new countertops on them okay which is nice and not just that one but the whole kitchen because of course you don't want to have mix match right so they did that and he he worked in the budget a brand new sink for me because of course they was going to want the management company was going to want that old sink to be put back in the new in the cabinets after the whole shit was fixed like why the fuck would i want that old white fucking little house on the prairie porcelain t- sink like let's be for real that shit was so stained up i was not trying to hear that shit okay and then they would go ahead and replace the faucet a couple of times on it and put these new modern ass faucets on a little house on the prairie sink like what the fuck so you know what i'm saying i I'm like, okay, I really didn't think all of that needed to be done. They could have just fixed up the issue right there and just put a new sink. That would have been less. But then, you know, a couple weeks later, here go the fucking air conditioner unit. Stay leaking like it do every fucking year or every other year or every couple years. Whose fault is it that they built the unit up on the top? Like, that's not my problem. But I do be catching it before, you know, it persists. Well, that same company that was doing the kitchen, they hired them to do the laundry room where it was leaking through. Okay? Because it's on the second floor. It's on a sub- it's upstairs with us, the unit. So they're going to go tell... The management company, that same company, how they got tear the ceiling out in a laundry room because it might have molds in it or whatever. Was no mold, but you know, they had to tear that out, paint it, fix it. That was money. So now, hmm, how much did y'all really have to pay this company? Is it insurance for that? I don't really know, but when I added up the difference in how much extra rent I would pay for the whole year, the twelve to two hundred and fifty three dollar one was three, like three thousand dollars extra. Hmm. Now, I know the job had to have cost more than three thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? Because I just know it just had to. Right. Girl. I just really feel like they're trying to recoup their money by raising my rent like that like who the fuck does that who raises rent that much like how that what a big huge jump you know what i'm saying never been late on my rent at all don't i deserve some fucking respect like straight up i'm just trying to figure it out don't i deserve like some other fucking respect for never being late on my rent like you 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 know what i'm saying like they never they've never had to give me any type of eviction never had to give me any extra late fee charge never because i don't pay those shits i ain't trying to be paying no kind of late fee charge because you know when you be laying on your rent in most places the late fee charge be quite hefty and an extra fifty dollars is something that i could keep in my goddamn pocket okay yes i could use that on some fucking smokes and weed hold up or a bill i'm just saying you know what i mean 
I don't know, but three, three, two hundred and fifty-three dollars. Of course, I'm going to call them because I, I want to inquire about that shit. It doesn't hurt to try because you can talk them down a little bit for your rent. I wasn't complaining last year when it went up one hundred and seventeen dollars. That was cool. I didn't care. And I guess I really don't have anything to complain about, to be honest. And I'm just going to say the reason why is because my house is a four bedroom house, three full bathrooms, two living rooms, a big kitchen, a yard, a two car garage and a dining room. OK, and it's like it's like three thousand square feet. OK. And I have a balcony in my room, master bedroom. So, you know, um, central air, whatever. All that great stuff, okay? Um, my rent bef right now, before taxes, you know, because they got you paying taxes and shit. My rent before taxes is 1692 which is definitely not bad, right? And that's because, you know, I've lived here so long. Other places, if you look other places that's smaller than mine, their rent is more. Shit, my daughter-in-law's apartment where they lived at was more than my rent. And it was a two-bedroom apartment, two full bathrooms, but it was very small. It was very small. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I guess I don't have anything to complain about because I'm still paying a nice low price for renting a home and, and in, in, a, in a wonderful area, like, seriously. So, I mean, I guess... You know, I'm still at at like where what can I complain about? It's still a blessing for me, right? And I think about it like that too. I do think about it in that same way. Because it is like I'm gonna be honest and say that I see people's apartment rent and I'd be like, God damn, they paying a whole bunch of rent. And then someone told me the only reason why you're paying the amount that you're paying is because you've lived in this house for so long. Now have they had they get you out of here, you move out, they're definitely going to raise the rent way higher, probably like double what they what they get from you and for somebody else, which is definitely probably true. It's probably true. <sighs> I just really need to fix my fucking credit and stop pussyfooting around because I love this home. I really, really do love this home to pieces. And I'm very grateful that they have never said to me, well, we don't want you to live here anymore. We want to, you know what I'm saying? Or we're raising it this, this and this amount. So I am very grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, $253 if I choose a 12 month option is not bad for the house that I live in. It's definitely not bad at all. It's amazing actually, to be honest with you. It's actually really, really amazing. And it's still low, but I'm just very curious as to why I raised it to $253 more. Like, that's like a really huge jump from last year, like, in my opinion. But, like, who am I to say? But I'm just saying, in my opinion, that's what I think, and that's how I feel. But, like, God damn. You know, I've been already wondering about, like, um, I've been already wondering about, um, not wondering, but, yeah, I kind of was because I was, you know how you know something is about to come up? You know it's that time, right? And you're just very curious. I'm pretty sure anybody who rents, right? Anybody who rents an apartment, you know, y'all know, y'all be y'all be looking out for that, that that lease by the end of the year. Y'all be, like, a couple months before you before it's time to um resign your lease. I know y'all be wondering and thinking, like, what they gonna raise it to? What they gonna raise it to? You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I should be having people paranoid because, girl, the economy is horrible and I'm trying to figure out what makes people feel it's okay to try to rob people that are working hard just to survive. Like for real, you feel what I'm saying? Like what makes people feel like it's okay to rob people that are trying and working hard just to survive? Like that's some really, really messed up shit. If you think about it, like the system is not, uh, it's not made for nobody, nobody except for those who want to get rich or who already are rich. I'm telling you guys, ain't nobody concerned about us. And when I say us, I don't mean just us as in black people. I mean us as in human beings. Okay. For real. Nobody's concerned about us. Mm -mm. They don't care. That's why they got all these homeless people out there and still more homeless people, more homeless people, more homeless people. Like the homeless, you know, epidemic is crazy. And it's just it's just out of whack. It's it's like, damn, y'all see all these people out on the street living because they can't afford to live in a proper dwelling, in a residence, in a home. They're on the street because they can't afford to live in a home. But yet and still, y'all still keep raising prices and raising prices. It's like we they it's like they like the like they're saying, fuck all y'all. We don't give a shit about y'all. We don't care if y'all if y'all survive it or not survive it we don't care if y'all struggling or not struggling we don't care as long as we get rich we don't care i'm just saying i'm you know what i'm basically just venting to y'all because i can't believe that they did me like that like man they don't give a fuck about nobody they really really don't and you know something so crazy i really love my house i really really do and you know like they said if if i want to ever buy the house that i live in it's always available 
I definitely have to fix my credit. I definitely will have to fix my credit, okay? As I would love to. I would love to stay right here, girl. I mean, it's so convenient. Like, it's seriously really convenient to live right here. Everything is here. You know, the grocery store is right down the street, like literally right down the street. It takes us like once we come out the garage or once I come out the garage, it takes me like about four minutes to get to the grocery store. If, there's, if the light is red, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's like really literally right there. It's a three to four minute drive. OK. And then across the street. I mean, and also in that plaza is a Starbucks, a McDonald's, a gas station, a Chinese food spot, a sushi spot, the ice cream water store, um, what else, a barber shop, a tea spot. And then across the street is like another little plaza with another barber shop, another Chinese food place that got nasty ass Chinese food. OK. Mm -hmm. And a few other things. And then, you know, like at the next corner. Because I'm, I'm thinking of it as a four corner. At the next corner, there's the, the parking lot that has the thrift store savers in it. It has Circle K. It has um, Brothers Pizza. It has a daycare. It has, um, they have some paint store. They got like, a, it's just a real good convenience. You know what I'm saying? It is. And the post office up the street, like, I really do like living here. Then the school's right there. So it's very convenient. And then, you know, drive a little bit, like, for about seven minutes, they go to daycare. So it's convenient. So I really do love it over here. But God damn, why y'all gonna do me like that? Girl, you'll make me cry. Like, I'm dead ass serious. They're gonna make me cry. I was already stressed out about finding a job. You know, I've been looking for a job. Feeling like I was, I lost my mojo, my mojito, you, like straight up, seriously. I was looking for a job. I've been looking for a job and I've been looking at them jobs like, oh my God, what about my skill set? But anyway, I was stressed already about finding a job because this YouTube shit is not paying like that. And I just want to do, well, ain't that guy. I mean, like if you really want to choose one, I would rather just work from home. Okay. Like, let's just be for real. And honest. I do like doing what I do, but it's not paying off like that. And I don't want to go broke, honey. I just don't want to go broke. And you know, I might be, I might be saying, I might be like overreaching when I say that, because I do get paranoid a lot, straight up overly paranoid. So I don't know, but I just, I'm just really upset, like straight up. I'm just really upset that they did me like that. Like, dang, they did me dirty. They, when I say they did me dirty, y'all, they did me dirty. <sighs> And I heard about people's rent getting raised to that price. Like, I mean, like hearsay, not like they my friends or nothing, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you hear people's or you see people's videos and they be like, oh shit, they raised my rent, blah, blah, blah. Like type shit like that, you know? I mean, anyway, girl, how y'all doing? What y'all been up to? Okay, how's y'all day? Oh, girl, how was y'all day? How was y'all week? Whenever you watching this, um, how's y'all finances? Okay, like, let me know what y'all think. I'm like being for real, because I did say, I want to know, like, for those people who rent apartments, you know when y'all leases are out to come out, right? You know when the lease time, new lease sign is about to come up like a couple months ahead of time. Do y'all be thinking about that shit and wondering what they're going to do to you? Okay, I want to know what your, what your thoughts are. What my thoughts is, is I hate one, one eye barrel. You know, you know something like both eyebrows is bomb. They built, I like both of them. They they both perfect to me, but they not the fucking same. That's, that's not, that's not, I mean, it's not maybe so noticeable to y'all, but if I looked hard enough, cause I did have to look hard enough. That's where I seen the difference. Anyway, how y'all doing? What y'all been up to? Okay. I think I'll just come on here and vent and talk to y'all as I'm getting ready for a makeup, um, uh, makeup tutorial. Like I'm a makeup, um, guru. As I'm getting ready for a wig tutorial, all right? I figure I'd come through, talk to y'all, see what everybody's been up to. I'm gonna bust out three wig videos today and yeah, three wig videos. I'm gonna bust out three wig videos today, post them up so I can get some money, you know, post them up for sale. Good wig videos too, like really good. You know, them high end, you know, um, pricey ones, you know, hello, y'all know. Then I just figure I'd come through and talk to y'all. I'm just, just going through some shit. You know, you got to do what you got to do out here. For real, these days. Shit is tough. Shit is getting real tough for people out here. It ain't getting it already is. But, you know, for those who ain't got it and who haven't been gotten yet, it's gonna, they going to get, okay? They going to be gotten. Like, straight up. It's getting kind of tough out here. It's getting hard for a player or whatever that song is. For real. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering. I'm wondering what I'm going to eat for dinner. I just finished eating breakfast. 
I made me some scrambled eggs, you guys, and yeah, some scrambled eggs. So excuse me, I had to finish, or not even finish, but do some of this, because it'll take me even longer. And girl, y'all be here for like four hours, two hours, trying to do a makeup look that ain't even really made up like that. So, you know, I just was using this cute little palette right here. Is that what you want to call it? A palette, a quad, whatever. Got this from Ipsy when I was a part of Ipsy. And it's one of those little nude, um, excuse me, an indie brands. Really pretty, though. The colors in it are really, really nice. Okay. I'm liking the colors. So I've been using it quite all frequently. I used the two browns on this side, actually. And I'm praying that my eyeliner, my, um, excuse me, I'm praying. Well, did I forget my eyeliner? You know what? I'm not even putting no eyeliner on because I saw, I put an eyeliner on. I should I put some eyeliner on. What y'all think? I'm a, you know what? Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. You ever put on lashes or anything? Okay. Just, just, you ever just do your makeup and just feel so pretty? You know what I mean? You just feel like a million times. Well, not maybe even a million times. That might be like a stretch, but you know, like you just feel really good. You feel really pretty. Like I really try not to feel that way when I put on makeup, like, cause I just really want to feel like myself regardless. I just really want to feel pretty regardless makeup or not, you know, <laughs> pretty and stuff. But I love when I put on lashes. Like I just feel like if I don't have none on, girl, I'd be looking just like older than what I am. So I got to put on some lashes. But um, I don't know because these lashes lately have been not wanting to stay on a girl's eyes. I don't know what's going on with my eye right here. And it's just this one. And it's the inner corner. And it's what it does is it starts to make the glue. It starts feeling like it's running, running. And this is going on for like two weeks almost. Um, It starts to un tacky the glue like the glue done gotten tacky already and, and dried clear right and then it feels like it starts to make the glue make my eye feel like it's watering i don't know and i try to ignore it because i feel like if i ignore it it just won't do it you know what i'm saying like if you don't think about it as much and it's just this eye like this one seemed like it had wanted to do it a few days ago and but it's i can always feel it like i can have the lashes on for like a good minute or two and then it starts to do that i'm gonna just ignore it and act like i don't feel it or whatever but you ever just feel really really pretty once you put your makeup on or like yep this eye too want to do look i'm trying to ignore shit and i don't know why but it's both of my eyes that are doing that lately and i don't know if something is bothering my eyes but girl if i don't wear my lashes i'm gonna look like kermit's sister like no, I can't. No, I got to have on my lashes. I look ugly without them. Like not ugly, but no, maybe I'm going to have to find some to wear. I'm going to have to cut them so they don't even have to be nowhere. But if I put them any further back, I'm going to look, I'm going to just look stupid. All right. I don't like looking stupid, period. I don't like looking stupid, but I'm going to just try to ignore it and act like it's not even bothering me. But anyway, so I was, while I was doing my eye look, while I was doing my eyeshadow, I was watching on youtube um i guess it's like a crime channel or whatever people be doing some crazy shit to their spouses just so they don't got to be bothered with them no more and they don't even be about getting money like you know what i'm saying because you know how some people will unalive another person for the money like that but then it's the fact that they'll just do some crazy shit to their wives like or to their spouses just to get just to get rid of them like you know what i'm saying like they'll be having an affair with somebody else at the workplace or wherever. They just have an affair with somebody else, right? And then instead of just telling them, like, yo, I want to get a divorce. I don't want to be married to your ass no more. Dude, just do, like, the most wicked, unalive shit to them. Like, what the fuck? Like, and then you'll end up getting caught. And sometimes it don't even be about no make, no money. I was about to say makeup. Sometimes it don't even be about no money. It just be about, they just want to get rid of them. And they want to live their life with somebody else. But, like, don't you think it would be much easier to just go ahead and just say, yo, I'm getting divorced or I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Y'all want to be with you no more because I'm gonna be I'm gonna mess with Sally at the at the job place. You know what I'm saying? Like, wouldn't that be easier? Now you find yourself in cuffs, like, like for real. But anyway, so I was just watching. I was just watching. Hold on, guys. Gotta take a smoke break. Okay, so I'm bad. So okay, so I was just watching this thing as I was doing my eyeshadow. I was watching like this YouTube channel. It's, it's about crime or whatever. And I don't even know how I started watching it because it, I wasn't even looking for that. I wasn't even watching anything in nowhere near the same format as what popped up like you know how the video just play the next video well prior to that i was watching this stuff on um this one youtuber's channel that i absolutely love i love i love him he's like he has the best videos about nyc cash jordan if y'all never heard of him his name is cash just like cash like give me some cash cash jordan 
and he be covering all kind of stuff in New York City. It could be about apartment hunting. He take you out on apartment hunting. He have like real estate friends that allow him to just like look around, tell us the prices. That part is cool too. Then he's been just covering a lot of the shit that's been popping off. You know, like with the um the the, my, the immigrants or the migrants or whatever you want to call them. All that bullshit, all the crime, how they get to steal in New York City and not even really have to do any time for the shit. So anyway, I was watching a video by him that he had just released. And that motherfucker be getting some views, girl. Okay, when I saw you, he be getting some views. Girl, he be getting some views, okay? That video was up 37 minutes and it already had um, over 20K views. Like, I need, well, he do got millions of subscribers, okay? He do have a couple million subscribers. But anyway, so... I'm watching that video and so so it goes off and the next video that comes on now this video was uploaded seven hours ago I don't know how recent it happened you know what I'm saying like I don't know how recent it happened in real life you know because you know it just seemed like it, yeah who knows I don't know so don't give me the line so anyway I'm watching this video and um it's like one of those crime channels and it's about a, it's, it's just like this mar it's married white couple it don't even matter what color they are it's just people be doing some crazy shit right so it's married white couple and they was married for 28 years right and he um he was he used to do he, he used to be a cop the, the husband and he he um resigned because he had accidentally killed this woman in traffic like you know what i'm saying a, a traffic stop like in 2011 so he stopped doing that and was doing something else or whatever i can't remember what he was doing that was what, what else he was doing right and his wife i don't know what she what she did for a living but she had had an affair with the neighbor like you know what i'm saying she had had an affair with the neighbor because he wasn't around oh the, his new job is he he worked in alaska he worked there for like three weeks and then you know he'll come home right so anyway that's his new job not that new but that's what he went to do after he stopped being a cop right so his wife had an affair with the neighbor and the neighbor was also his friend okay now i don't know how long this affair was going on but he found out okay he found out he went raging like a maniac to the neighbor he kept bullying the neighbor after that was threatening him was gonna say he was gonna unalive him he was gonna splatter his brains on the walls his exact words okay and all kind of shit so him and his wife like she like stayed with him she didn't leave him she stayed with him now i don't know why she started cheating on him i forget the reason but it was something that he had done i don't know just leave just fucking leave right why you cheat on people just fucking leave so anyway he had to do four months in jail because of that shit of the threats that he was giving to the neighbor friend okay and i'm calling him a neighbor friend because he really was a friend he ended up doing four months in jail and that's when he resigned as a police officer okay so then he started working in in the oil mills okay three weeks on one week off that type of shit okay and so that's when he would come home. So she would go and get him from the airport and shit like that. But so her friends were saying how happy she was and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Why would she kill herself? Because they found, he found, her husband found her in a tub, okay, with a, a gunshot to her head, right? Trying to say he killed her, she killed himself. Anyway, long story short, the medical examiner found all these bruises. She had a broken jaw. She had all these bruises. And it wasn't enough blood, they said, for her to have shot herself in the head because it just it just wasn't enough. Okay. That's what that's what was said. That's what the medical examiner said. I don't know why, right? But it wasn't enough blood in the um in the in the bathtub for her to have killed herself because when you're still alive, that means your heart is beating. So the, when you're alive and you and you shoot yourself in the head, you should have way more blood because your heart is beating. As long as your heart is beating, that produces more blood. So there wasn't enough blood for her to have said to have killed herself. Bottom line is her husband beat the crap out of her, put her body and staged it in a bathtub, shot her in the mouth to make it look like she killed her own self and couldn't get away with it because it wasn't enough blood. And also they found all these bruises and contusions and broken jaws when her body was examined, like, how the fuck you gonna think you're gonna get away with some shit like that? Why don't you just leave her? If you don't want to be with her no more, are you just fed up? He was mad because she was trying to get a divorce from him. That's what the problem was. He, They found out that she had, you know, asked him for a divorce and then within a couple of days she was dead, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, I don't understand why people do shit like that. Like, if that were me, I would just leave. I'm not about to sit around and kill nobody, unalive anybody, excuse me, for just because you don't want to be with me no more. Because you, you know the thing about it is, you gonna unalive them because they don't want to be with you anymore and then the next person that's going to want to be with you is bobby in jail you know like i'm just saying because you're gonna get caught and your ass gonna go to jail like straight up that's that's who's gonna want to be with you and how you gonna handle that i'm just saying the best thing you could do is just go on about your business and find somebody else there are a whole lot of people out there that would love your dysfunctional ass why the fuck kill somebody else that don't want to be with you when there's a million other people that love dysfunctional and toxic ass people in the world i'm just saying you know what i mean i don't understand why people do shit like that like why would you want to unalive somebody just because they don't want to be with you no more do you ever feel like you're going to get away with shit i don't know why people be thinking that they're going to get away with like murder and shit i really don't it's hard for me 
me to even understand because it's like you didn't just see his ass get caught. Like you didn't you didn't see the trial of him. You didn't see his trial. You, you didn't watch his trial. Oh, okay. Because you you seem like you don't really know. Like what make your ass so fucking special? That you gonna get away with the shit. I'm just trying to figure that shit out. That's why I don't do crime. I know my ass ain't gonna get away with it. And when I get nervous, girl, my mouth get dry. I get dry mouth. So that shit is not gonna work out for me if they trying to interrogate me. Okay? Not at all. I'm gonna be dry mouth. They're gonna be like, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, you don't sound good. Yeah. I, I don't I ain't trying to do no crime. I definitely get caught just because I got caught in mouth. And it ain't because I'm high. They, I'm just because I'm nervous. When I get nervous, y'all, oh my God, I get cotton mouth. Ooh, I don't know why, but I hate that shit. Okay, I will definitely get cotton mouth when I'm nervous. I don't know if it'd be like medication or shit, but girl, it's not a, it's not a good feeling. So I'll definitely get caught. I don't understand why people be doing shit. They really always be thinking like they gonna get away with some shit. Mm. You know what they say. So now, you know, I watched that, you know, his ass went to jail. I don't even know how long he went to jail for, or if they even said, or if I even heard, because after they found him guilty and shit, I think it was like one minute left. And I just, did I move on to the next one? I don't think I moved on to the next one, but I don't remember hearing what they had to say about his ass. Okay. So I don't know if he went to, well, he did go to jail, but I don't know for how long he was very upset about the outcome of his case, but like, how are you going to get mad and be upset and then ask for leniency when you did the crime, like, I don't really be understanding people. When I tell you I don't be understanding people, I really don't be. They be doing, they be just saying some dumb shit sometimes. You ever met somebody that just say like the dumbest shit? Like for real, like I'm being dead ass serious right now. Have y'all ever met somebody that just be saying dumb shit? And they just be like, do you always talk like that? Do you always say the, the dumbest shit that you say? Like, I just, I'm just be wondering, like, you know what I mean? Like, I only, I, I wonder because sometimes I be feeling like, for example, sometimes I be feeling like I be, be, be I am being tested, okay? By God knows who. I don't know who's testing me, but sometimes I just be feeling like I'm being tested for shit. Like, because I feel like this because I just be feeling like, why do always the dumb people got to say something to me? I don't understand. Like, do I got like this target on my back that says dumb people? I am your person to talk to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and so I, that's where I be feeling like I'm being tested because I just don't understand why I do the dumb people or it, it just, yeah, it'd be the dumb people. I want to, I want to say, um, ignorant, but they, them too, you know what I'm saying? Cause dumb and ignorant can mean totally different things for certain people. You know what I'm saying? So I want to say them too. Okay. Why do I look like Casper the fucking ghost right now? Okay. Well, at least I don't. <sighs> Well, shit, at least I don't fucking look orange like a tangerine, okay? Or like a Simpson character. I will say that. I mean, we're going to fix this anyway. I mean, I guess, look, I be trying to get all the little color I can straight up, okay? I'm really ignoring the shit. I'm really ignoring the shit. But anyway, oh, okay, so like I was saying, <sighs> I just realized, you know, people be just saying dumb shit. And like, I couldn't believe the way he was trying to just ask for leniency. Like, they, they, don't you remember that you killed her and you staged it? And then and then you perform, you put on a performance of crying. Like, you don't remember that, too? And now you've been standing here asking, asking for leniency? It just be like the nerve of people. Like, they be having a nerve, the audacity. You know what I'm saying? Like, people do really be having a lot of audacity. I try to ignore the shit from some people because sometimes it's like, I'm going to just ignore you because you are stupid. Okay? We got dumb, stupid, and ignorant people in this world and like i said they all can mean something different for each person straight up i know some stupid people i know i know of quite a few stupid people all right i know some dumb people and um i don't really know too many ignorant people like yeah no i had to think about that so first let me mm, girl i've been getting into this cream blush lately i don't know why but i've really been getting into this cream blush straight up the, this one is from shop miss a now i had this one minute i am so glad and, and grateful that it didn't dry up and become um a cream a powder because i i hadn't used it in so long but i love the color and you know what i do i try to um put enough on so i could just look sun-kissed and you know who don't like to look sun-kissed but i like this color this one is in the color <laughs> is that some shit? the color is called demure demure oh wow Look at that. Uh, 
no wonder why I like it so much because a girl always be trying to be Jameer about her makeup. Like, I do. I don't try to be looking like nobody's fool, nobody's clown, okay? I don't be trying to be putting too much. Y'all know I don't really care for too much makeup. I be trying, look, as long as I got on some lashes and brows, girl, I be good. But lately I've been loving this cream blush, okay? Before I used to couldn't really know, figure out how to do it. All right, I mean, who don't know how to put on blush? It just is, are you putting it on and making it look right? So I really wasn't feeling it because it kind of was like taking away from my face powder like when I would put it on it would make like the rest of my makeup blotchy like you know and then I realized you dumb ass you can't put it over powder makeup you have to do that last I like to put enough on like you know what I'm saying especially up in this area where I really want to look sun-kissed like a raggedy Ann doll no I'm just fucking with y'all but where I really want to look sun-kissed I put it up here I'm gonna use my Fenty I really do like this concealer like it's kind of it's it's good it's a nice consistency it's not too it's not too watery like you know liquid it gives off a good consistency yeah that looks great look i'm like that looks great demure baby <laughs> demure about to pop off these videos like i was telling y'all and it's probably like late in the day well not really late it's probably like 12 o'clock almost now lately i've been editing my videos downstairs like i'll bring my whole computer downstairs just so i don't have to sit in my room you know different scenery not like it's like it's that much of a difference but sometimes i just like to be downstairs where everybody's at or where everything is at you know it is also cooler downstairs my room is like the hottest room in the house to be honest with you it really really is i think it has a lot to do with i have very high ceilings and one little bed for my ac which is like okay just like giving a whale a tic tac that fucking bed but you know i make it do what it do i do have a ceiling fan but i think it really needs to to be replaced let me not ask my fucking management company to replace it because they'll just hike up the rent another 200 dollars. okay next time I, I sign a lease but anyway and i'm gonna go do these damn videos okay sometimes i don't be really wanting to do no videos like i just be want to do it when i want to do it um and ain't nothing wrong with it but sometimes i just don't want to be bothered with this shit no more like i don't want to do shit just to feel like i gotta do shit because i need the money or whatever i just want to do the shit because i want to do the shit you know what i'm saying like fun that type of shit that's how i that's how i be wanting to, to do shit and they want to be bitches and raise motherfuckers rent and shit they trying to piss me off is what they trying to do huh they like look we gonna catch up to the rent other renters price too we trying to catch up with the other people rental prices. I just, you know, it just behooves me. Like, I don't understand what people get out of robbing other people, though. Like, on some real shit. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, you don't have no sense of dignity. Like, people really be trying to get over on other people. And that's so sad because people are out here working hard as it is. And you can't act like you don't know that the economy is fucked up. You can't act like you don't know that people are working hard just to survive. And the fact that you don't give a fuck and that you still would want to rob somebody is, like, beyond me. Like, and that goes for anything, not just with rent, but just in general. And then on top of that it'd be like the thieves like you know what I'm saying like the straight thieves i'm talking like when i say thieves i'm talking about motherfucking thieves okay like go around stealing shit like the ones like you know that been in new york city shoplifting and doing crimes like that's the one thing that is crazy to me though like people done stole so much okay people done stole so much that they got everything in the fucking store locked up like straight up okay them goddamn cosmetics is doing more time than the people in jail like everything is locked the fuck up in new york city behind glass doors you gotta wait forever just to get somebody to come through and open that shit the fuck up or in walmart's like and walmart's out here um I ain't seen nothing locked up. Well, I did. I'm lying. When I went to the one Walmart, I went to to the men's section, right, to to look for um some t-shirts. This was before I found the t-shirts that I like. I go to um Walmart to see about getting some t-shirts, and this is the reason why I didn't even get the t-shirts. When I go there, they all locked up. Okay, they all locked up in the men's section, like behind the glass cases, and I'm like, oh my god. So I didn't even push the button because, you know, there's a button that you could push and it'll get the attention of the associates in Walmart. And sooner or later, whenever they may do decide to come over in that aisle, they'll come. Right. So when I seen that and I was like, what the hell? Like, it took me by surprise because I ain't never seen that shit before. Like straight up, like I seen it on, you know, social media, but I ain't never seen it in real life. At that point, I was like, I'm not about to stand there. Just look at Target. Like Target don't got shit locked up like Walmart. Like I get look, if you wanted to steal from somewhere. Which store would you steal from? Like, it, I'm asking. This is a hypothetical question. I'm not telling y'all to go do that shit. It's just a hypothetical question. If you had to steal, you only got two options. You could either steal from Walmart or you could steal from Target. Which store are you stealing from? 
I mean, if I'm going to steal, if I had to choose one, it would be Target. I'd rather steal from Target. You know what I mean? You know why? Target got better shit. And then Target people, they they are a little bit more civilized to me. Their, their security is a little bit more civilized. So I think that you would just get off better. You'd get some better shit. And you would definitely get away better. Like, who the fuck want to go to Walmart? Everybody and their grandmother be in Walmart. You're not even going to get a clean getaway. You got to fight to get out the goddamn front door. So let's slide in the door. So like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to choose Target. You know what I'm saying? People are a little bit more civilized there. They know how to, to, to behave. You know, it's a lot better environment. So I'm definitely going to go there to Target. I mean, that's me. What would y'all do? If y'all had to choose one of the places, like, hypothetically, I'm not saying go do the shit. I'm just saying, hypothetically, which one will y'all choose? And why? What's your reasons why? Y'all like, wait, hold the fuck up, girl. First you said hypothetical. Now you want to know the reasons why we would choose. I just want to know. Why would you choose that one? She be trying to piss me off lately. I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all that she be really trying to piss me off lately, she be really trying to piss me off lately. Okay? I'm trying to figure out why people, things, and items and objects be trying to piss April off lately. Like, now look, how that look? It look cute, right? I blended it in with the concealer and all that shit, okay? Yeah, she been pissing me the fuck off lately. And I really try not to allow too much shit to piss me off because you know why? Let me, let me just tell y'all the reason why. For one, I, I just, I feel like this. Life is too short to allow too much shit to piss you the fuck off. Like, people, like I said, we got some dumb motherfuckers out here in this world. Some real ignorant people, some real stupid people, some real victim-playing people out here we got a lot of that shit out here so i really try not to allow too much shit get on my fucking nerves and piss me the fuck off but when i tell you girl that's there has sometimes i've been i've been pissed off enough this week with people and their greediness their dumb shit just this in general like i really i feel like i need a vacation from life you know like not even from life because that don't even sound too good but you know what i'm saying like i just feel like i need a vacation on a, a nice little island all by myself you know because listen i don't really wouldn't probably want to be by myself for too long because then i would get lonely and then who would i talk to but i'm really great at talking to myself to be honest with you i really am like straight up i'm the type of person now y'all probably gonna think i'm crazy if i tell y'all this like i'm the type of person i could just i could talk to myself and answer myself and i'll be okay i'll be fine with that shit like who do you know that can do that okay like let's just be for real who do you know can talk to themselves and then give themselves like the perfect answer all the time <laughs> like who do you know but yourself right because like for real like but yourself so you know I, i've been talking to myself for years a funny story okay fun fact okay and don't go dragging me and talking about the shit don't let's not get into the t pages where people be like oh she was a lunatic she's crazy she's got multiple personalities no listen to this okay so y'all know I was the only child for 13 years, okay, for my mom. My dad, like, 12. So I was the only child for, like, 13 years. So when my mom had my sister, of course, I was so excited, you know what I'm saying? I was really, really happy to have her, you know. I finally had somebody that I could play with, but I was a little bit older, you know, at that point. But anyway, I was the only child for, like, 13 years, right? So, of course, I would, I had my own time. I, You know, I would have to entertain myself as a kid. I loved playing with Barbies. I played with them until I was, like, 15, 16 years old, you know, because I had my sister, so I was playing with her. But anyway, I loved playing Barbies. I loved Peoples, like, you know, Fisher Price Peoples. I had all those kind of shits, all those little houses. I had all that shit. But anyway, so because I had to entertain myself, of course, I had imaginary friends, right? Who didn't have imaginary friends? Well, a lot of kids didn't, but I, I did, okay? I had imaginary friends. I don't know how many I had, but I know I had some. So, you know, I'll be in the back room because, you know, we lived in the project where my mom lives at now. I'll be in the back room talking, like, you know, playing with my friends, my fake friends, my little imaginary friends. Why well, my mother come back there one time, right? And she was looking all around, like, in the closet because she thought that I allowed somebody to climb in the window and come play with me because in the back room, we had this landing. And the landing, you could just climb this little short ladder was like three steps to as you're walking by off the street you could um, crawl top, climb up that landing and at the time it didn't have a fence around it it just was the landing was right there <laughs> so and it was people's windows also by the landing so all you had to do was just climb the short ladder and get on the landing and you could be walking by off the street you know what i'm saying we lived in building two so she, and it was a big landing too. It wasn't like, it was just a big ass landing. So, um, and it was next to some steps. So I guess that's why I was landing there to make it a space because they had the steps to go through the back of the project, some shit like that. I don't know, girl, I'm not a landscaper or whatever architect. But anyway, so there was this landing by the bedroom door, by my bedroom window, okay? The other window didn't have a landing. It was just like, you know, over the boiler room. So she thought that I, and the windows back then, they wasn't the type of windows with the bars on, you know, I was a kid. So it was just a window that you could just turn that little thing 
right there and open it up. And then there was ones that was on the side that like you open and it opens up like that it was a window like that. Right. So she thought that I allowed somebody to come in off the landing or whoever into the bedroom and was playing with me. She thought I allowed my friends to come in the back room to play with me when she told me this. And then she told me why she said, because she was changing your voices and it sounded like there was different people back here. So my mom thought that I invited somebody in because I have fake multiple personalities. I was just entertaining myself. You know, if you want to have fake friends and imaginary friends, aren't they supposed to have like different voices? I don't know. But I mean, like, I don't do that to, to this day. I don't change my voice, but I will talk to myself and I will answer myself. We get the best answer. So it's like, fuck that shit. I got something to say. I got something to say. It is what it is. But yeah, now this has become my favorite um, mascara, you guys. Like, for real. This is the Maybelline um, Falsies. So real Falsies. Oh, my God. I love this mascara. It gives you like, I don't know what it does, but it puts, it really makes your lashes look thicker. They say it's something in it, like, like these little tiny fibers, but I don't see anything. I just think it's the mascara and, and such. It's some really good mascara. So I use it a lot. I love it on my lashes, especially my bottom ones. Let me put this on real quick, guys. Girl, it's looking cute. It's coming together. It's getting, it's, it's demure. You know, I don't really do too much. Plus, I'm not like really like a pro at doing makeup. So I just do what works for me. You know, what makes me a little bit of happiness, you know, a little decency. Then, you know, I wonder if it's my allergies that's bothering me. Because I'm, I like, to be honest, I haven't been sneezing or any of that. So I don't, I don't feel like a allergenic. Okay. That's not even a word, but I'm just going to make it up. It's not good though. I don't feel like I'm, my allergies are bothering me. I'm just trying to figure out why is my eyes continuously tearing? Like, is this the end of my eyelash, eyelash? Like, fix, am I never going to be able to wear lashes again? Like, what the fuck? It's always something. Like, I need a break in life. Like, straight up. Like, I seriously need a break in life. I, I need, like, a really good break in life. Like, cut me a break. Cut me some slack. You know what I'm saying? That's how it should. Like, you know what I mean? Like, catch. I, I need to catch a break. That's, that's what I'm saying. I need to catch a break. Okay? I, I really need to catch a break. I feel like, sometimes I feel like my shit is spiraling. And it's really not. And I, I, I know that I need to stop worrying so much and stop being so paranoid. But can you blame me? Like, look at society. Like, look at look at the fucking world, you guys. Like, I just need to catch a break. So, like, I lost my mojo. I let go of a lot of things, okay? Anyway, other than that, um, I think I finally found my favorite lip combo, though it seems like it... Then I'll try something else, another different kind of lip combo, and they, they all start to seem like they look the same. This is a... This is a NYX pencil. And I've actually had this for years, okay? Okay, y'all, so this is it for the, the look. I'm about to go ahead and put on my white T-shirt, and I'm gonna wear a white T-shirt for every last video because it's just a white t-shirt okay you can't ever have too many white t-shirts okay i don't know about those eggshell ones y'all but white t-shirts yes i'm gonna just ignore the fact about these lashes because they look decent i mean it's lifting a little bit but if i leave it alone it'll dry and then it'll just dry right in place right there so it does it all the time not like all the time but enough and i really honestly thought it was the eyelash glue at first because i had switched it up real quick on them like you know on my lashes and started using this kiss one because it was on it was on sale on amazon for like two and some change so and it works really good but I thought that was that because it said with aloe in it. So I thought it was that like was making my tear, my eyes tears. So then I went back to what I've been using, which was Shop Miss A. And no, it's not. It's 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 probably something to do with my eyes. I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. But anyway, so let me go do this um, tutorials. They're going to be voiceovers because lately I haven't really been wanting to do no videos. And so <clears throat> but excuse me. But also, I feel like if I just do a voiceover, then I could sit and watch TV while I'm doing my video re review, you know, my recording. Like, because I really don't be having much to say anyway in the beginning. I just be just yapping a little bit too much. So I figured y'all don't really need to hear me yap. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and do a voiceover because it's easier. And you know what I'm saying? It's just easier. And then, and then and the video don't even have to be that long when it's a voiceover. So, yeah, that. Oh, girl, before I go, let me just share this with y'all, okay? Because y'all know I be doing, I be promoting Dossier's perfume. Girl, listen, this is about to be a little advertisement real quick, okay? So, Dossier, y'all know Dossier is all about inspirational perfumes, inspirational scents. Girl, baby, they are 99.9% .9 dead smack on when it comes to any other 
perfume um, inspirations. Like, girl, they will have you smell like the real deal. So I've been using the Floral Lavender by Dossier, which is the East Saint Laurent Libre. Now, this is what I do with mine. I do go ahead and put a little label because I want to know what I'm using. But, girl, I have not gotten so many compliments. I have been getting compliments after compliments wearing this perfume. And normally people don't really compliment me like that. Not saying I stink because, baby, I definitely don't. But I'm just saying this one right here, East Saint Laurent Libre, girl, don't sleep on it because Dossier will have you smelling good like a thousand and fairies on clouds like i'm just saying they're gonna have you smell real good baby you're gonna find you a man you're gonna get you a husband okay and whatever else you desire because this perfume is it yes strange has been telling me i smell good and i like the fact that people tell me why i smell good okay so get this i'm just saying get it so yes y'all y'all definitely want to get this okay i'm loving this perfume it smells so good i did not know it smells so good and you know there are many other different companies that be making their little dupes or their inspired scents but this one right here i love dossier they have have clean bottles clean looking very affordable baby and i just put a little label on mine so i know which one it's inspired by but girl yes check this one out girl if you want everybody to be telling you you smell good if you want to get you a man girl get you this if you want to get you a husband get you this if you want to get you a girlfriend get you this girl just get this okay just get this dossiers east saint laurent okay libre inspired scent this is the floral lavender okay make sure you thank me later you'll thank me later boo okay you will definitely thank me later i'm telling you you will but anyway you guys i got to go you know i'm gonna do this video and then i'm gonna just chill for the rest of the day i should have me a little drinky drink but i don't have one but it's all good whatever you know i have some smoke breaks here and there but i love y'all and i will speak to y'all later on and peace and blessings stay safe stay diva and delicious.